I'm finally planting some of these. So I'm on my way over to my mini nursery. I've got some uh, plant starts that I've uh, started from cuttings. Uh, I decided finally to plant a few of them. And I waited till the end of the day to do this, and I waited till the day to do this because it's supposed to rain a little bit tonight. And also because if I wait till the end of the day to do this, then it's gonna be a little more shaded over where I wanna put it. So a whole lot more chance of it doing well. And I don't have to water it in quite as much. On my way over there, I thought I'd show you these gummy berries. I showed you these gummy berries the other day. Look at these. I told you they were a little stringent, but now I see that really that's mainly because they weren't very ripe. And the reason I wanted to go ahead and pick them then is because whenever I waited in the past, either the kids or the birds got them all. But the kids have been plucking these. The kids have been pulling them. And uh, there's still plenty of them. And the birds have probably gotten some as well. And there's still plenty of them. So uh, they're kind of small. Oh, I dropped one. Uh, they're kind of small. And they're still a little sour, but they're not nearly as sour as they were. They're far more pleasant now. You can see this red color on them. Uh, here's one that never did ripen uh, really early. You see how green it is? And here's one next to it that's very ripe. So, way better now. But there's a lot of them on these little goomy trees over here. So I'm in the process of starting a plant nursery. What I've been working on mainly over the last couple of years, and I've been wanting to do this for a couple of years as well, is kind of get some of my mother plants and get some of my stock together. I'm going to work hard really this, uh, this fall and this winter to get a lot of things started. But this is the start of some of my plant nursery right here. There are several of these Austri fast growing willows over here. I got some cuttings offline and uh, there were supposed to be 50 of them. I think there ended up being like 56. Almost all of them made it and almost all of them did very well. I've also got some Adam's elderberry that I got from the Texas boys and most of those have done pretty well as well. Uh, there are several over here on this side, uh, but I'm going to take a couple of these from over here on this other side and I'm going to plant them over next to the pond. And the reason I'm planting them is uh, because some of them look a little wilty and sad versus these over here, they look a little bit better. So. Uh, I'm gonna plant them and I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna plant them and how I'm gonna do it and again why I waited till this time of day and today to do it. So let's head over there. I beat myself up sometimes because I don't, you know, I'm not doing quite as well as I wanna do. Maybe some of you do that as well. Maybe you think that I'm wrong to do that. Maybe you think I'm right to do that. I don't know. Uh, but uh, there's a lot more room in this high tunnel for me to plant more stuff and I've not utilized the space very well. Still trying to figure out what I wanna do. I've had it one year. Uh, this time next year, if you're gonna stick with us, and I hope that you will, maybe you'll hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, select all so you never miss that notification. You can see what's going on here. Uh, we're gonna have a whole lot more things going on here. I'm gonna plant some perennials in here, but uh, we're learning and you know, just start small and give yourself a little grace and you're doing okay. But I wanna show you this. One of my friends from Florida sent me this. Uh, this is an African potato mint, and I'll show you more about it later. It doesn't really grow very well here in zone seven in Western Kentucky, uh, but in this high tunnel, uh, it probably will do just fine and it might have to just be more of an annual as well but he gave me several and I planted several in here but it looks like only one of them came up but that's gonna be enough to make a whole lot more of them for me and then I can spread them out and they kind of spread like mint but they make these little tubers as well and that's really handy so we're making a survival homestead here that we can have a lot of stuff uh, that can support us some things we might not like so much but we're gonna have plenty to eat in case the stuff hits the fan uh, let's go over to the pond hi Rua hi. Copperhead Road Homestead. That's us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, anyone who watches this video. Uh, we're over here. The kids are over here at the pond, and Rue is watching them to make sure they don't drown because it don't take but a second to, you know, for the kids to get really in big trouble. So here are the kids in the pond. Can you say hi, kids? Dad, why are you planting elderberries next to the pond? Because they like water. So I've already got my compost over here. I've got my shovel over here. I got this all prepped. I was waiting till the sun went down a little bit and it's down over here just a little bit further north uh, uh, from here, uh, but it's not quite down yet. It will be in just a few minutes. I selected this spot because we've got these other trees here that uh, you know will prevent me from planting other things. I'm wanting to make like a wetland filter or something like that for the pond uh, so I can you know, plant some stuff over here and elsewhere around here. But this spot right here isn't gonna really suit very well for that. There's a few oak trees. Here's a hickory tree. This little one right here is a hickory tree. 
elders like water, elderberries like water. I'm not sure they're gonna get enough here, but since we're over here by the pond all the time during the summer, then uh, you know we can water it quite frequently. But it's really quite simple. I'm just gonna put these in the hole. I'm just gonna dig some holes and then put some compost in the hole and then it'll do the rest of the work. Most trees are like that. So, uh, uh, but I'm doing this again, uh, in case you didn't hear me earlier, I'm doing this uh, at this time, at this place, because it's next to water. I'm doing it because it's supposed to rain tonight. Uh, uh, because it's toward the end of the day and it's supposed to rain tomorrow so it'll get all good and watered in uh, and then also because we can water it here and maybe some of those roots uh, will reach over here toward the pond and suck some of that water up so let's get this hole dug so uh, the compost that I use, I got it from my compost system over there and I was still working out some bugs with it. It had some uh, grain in here that the chickens didn't peck on and, hadn't, uh, and they hadn't germinated yet. So uh, we've got this piece of grain in here that I've got to take out of it. But let me see, let's see how these roots have done. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at those roots in there. So this started out as just a stick, uh, but now look at it. It's got all these roots and stuff on here. It's done quite well. Uh, so I'm going to take a little bit of this compost and I'm going to put it in the ground with it. We've got two more to do. This one's the same, look at that. And the last one. This one looks the wiltiest of them, but we're gonna water it in really good in just a second. Look what you cut. It's a tadpole slash frog in the middle of its metamorphosis. So this is really great for them understanding this life cycle thing, right? Yeah, and we've caught big ones before in this pond. So now just go get some water and put in there. Here's they're another one. They're pretty easy to catch. So, <laughs> so like, those ball will play. When you walk about that pond, there's like 220 frogs that just pop out. So I watered this one over here that's very wilty and really well, put a couple buckets on it. Uh, but uh, again, it's supposed to rain tonight, it's supposed to rain tomorrow, and the shade it, it'll help it a little bit. We can water as well, look at all these kids over here. It's getting really hot over here in Western Kentucky, so they're spending a lot of time in the pond. <laughs> And they're really loving it. So uh, this is a really great, huge, wonderful thing. And almost been a year, I guess uh, maybe July or August, it'll have been a year. And we didn't have it filled up until October or November or so. Uh, but anyway, uh, this is kind of a pond update video as well. Uh, we're still working on growing things around it, but we're being patient with it. Kind of just letting some things, uh, some things self seed. We planted some wheat around it, uh, but that just kind of provides some biomass to it. But uh, we really appreciate you. We do a new video every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. We hope that you come and see us those times. Thanks. Yeah.